Hey, little mama. You've heard about the Moms Like Us Academy, right? I talk about it all the time. But have you ever wondered, what is this all about? Well, you know what? Every month we have master classes and then we have challenges or make it happen. And then we have a Q&A live with me or you can send it in and I'll answer you DMing you. And in the fourth week in the Moms Like Us Academy, you get some kind of a surprise for me. It might be something in the mail. It might be a recipe. But whatever it is, it's going to take the topic of the month and make it real for you. And that's what the Moms Like Us Academy happens inside of it. But not only that, you get real mentoring. You get real mentoring in your mothering to move you forward. To move you forward in a way that you actually get the results you want. I mean, the results, the results that you've always wanted. And so instead of just a three-point Pinterest or a really quick podcast, which you know I love, you're going to get real mentoring, real mentoring from Mona the Mom Mentor and others that are teaching master classes. Okay, so right now I'm going to give you a little sneak peek and a taste of some of the master classes that are taking place in our academy. So be on the lookout. We're going to be opening it real soon. Let's get to our show. Bye for now. Hi there. I really did warm up my coffee. I am really excited for you to be in module one. And the name of this module is, So Darling, What Will You Do With That One Wild and Precious Life That You Have? It's a quote by Mary Oliver. We're here in video one. And the video one is called The Most Important Job in the World. In the world's view, we're going to be looking at it and God's view. And then we're going to decide maybe what your view should be. This quote is one of my very favorites. It moved in my soul the first time I heard it, the first time I saw it. I bet it did for you too. It's the kind of quote that offers so much hope and so much panic all at the same time. Did you think so? The conflicting emotions of so much, let's hurry and pick, and the sheer terror of, girl, I have no idea. This short little sentence just didn't get me all wound up about my life, but also about my kids' lives. Here I was. I was at the helm of their lives, moving them forward in what I thought was a good path, only to realize I didn't know where any of us was going. It was like I, I could only handle the chaos that was in front of me. You know, the whirlwind and the thought of anything past tomorrow's soccer game or, or dinner or any of the struggles that I was dealing It was just unthinkable. I didn't have time. I was adrift in a whirlwind of what I thought was everyday life, kind of the way I thought it was supposed to be. One, quite frankly, that I didn't like. And I felt like I didn't sign up for this. You know what I needed? I needed to do some dreaming and some scheming. And we're going to be doing exactly that in video two in this module. But for now, I want to talk to you about you, you as a mother. Can we establish right now that as women, we are not just mothers. We all know that we have many gifts and talents and that those gifts and talents need to be incorporated into our lives at some point and somehow in some way. And you know what? In the Moms Like Us Academy, we address self-care, self-discovery of gifts and talents, side hustles, marriage, relationships, all the things. But just for this mini course, we're going to be focusing on your motherhood. Motherhood. It's one of my very favorite things to talk about. Okay, the first question. <laughs> Is it a job? Or is it an adventure? <laughs> really, it's probably both. More than a description of what it's called, I want you to see that it has purpose. Sweetie, it is a mission. Do you ever wonder why I would call it a mission? If you know me for very long, I call that a lot. I say that a lot. Well, let's start again with a definition. I love definitions. They give me things that I lead, lead me in places that I want to go. So the Webster 1828 Dictionary, it's the original dictionary that was created by Noah Webster. And it defines mission as a sending or being sent. 
usually the latter, a being sent or delegated by an authority with certain powers for trans transacting business, commissions, or just being sent on a foreign mission. Number two, it could mean persons that are sent, any number of persons appointed by an authority to perform any service. And number three, it could be a local church or parish dependent on a larger religious organization. Okay, that makes sense. I think you would think that makes sense. But the new Webster's Dictionary, they change things. The first thing it means is a specific task which a person or group is charged with, okay? Number two, a, de def a defined military, naval, or aerospace place. Number three, a ministry commissioned by a religious organization to propagate its faith or carry on humanitarian work. Okay, these kind of seem like they should be the same thing. They're both from Webster's. But what, what, what's missing? The being sent is missing in the second one by an authority with certain powers to make things happen. Therefore, you know what? We need to be really careful about the definitions that we find on the internet. They tend to, nowadays, rewrite and reshape the words and meanings. So if we go with motherhood as a mission, then there are two questions that need to be asked. Number one, who sent you to be a mother and gave you authority to be so? Number two, what powers do you hold to execute that mission? <laughs> the one that sent you is God, the creator of the world and every human on it. He also gave you authority, authority to have his children and raise them. Then the very best part is that he gave you power and authority to do that exact mission. He has supplied you with all that you need to do it. I know sometimes it doesn't feel like that, but really, if it's true, why are we as mothers struggling and loaded with guilt and shame, feeling like we are failing every day at this thing called motherhood and home? Why? Why are we frustrated? I believe our culture and the dismantling of the family has propagated lies about motherhood and lies that most of us in some way have believed. Number one lie, that motherhood is just, it's a small accessory. You know, a small accessory to your career, your house, your education, cars, vacations, you know, motherhood, it's a bonus. You can do it or not do it. Motherhood can be duplicated, It's number two. So you can actually hire it out if you're busy with the other things. And number three is for people who aren't really good at anything else. Oh. Number four, it's a low calling that can be supplemented with people that are way smarter than you, nanny, schools, even the church. You know what? None of these are true. In the case of number one, for anyone who has kids, you know that they are not a small accessory. They are a huge investment of time and money. New cars, huge houses, big vacations, and funds like that get swallowed up in doctor appointments, dance classes, soccer cleats. Number two huge lie. Actually, I think it's probably the biggest one. You know, the lie that motherhood can be duplicated so you can just hire it out while you go do the more important things, the more huge things. This is a huge lie. Studies have proven, scientific studies have proven, and I'll list them for you um, somewhere in the, in the homework, that when a mother is absent, a child suffers. Like, I know those are big words, I know you're thinking, Mona, what the heck? But they are. And it would be to the entire next generation's advantage if we as women started using big words like this. Here's my expert opinion. Motherhood cannot be imitated. Oh, excuse me. Motherhood can be imitated, but it can never be duplicated. And you can quote me on that. Actually, it is my quote. Even though I messed it up a little. <laughs> Line number three, that this is the truth that I'm going to tell you. It's for people who aren't really good at anything else. Now, this is a huge joke, and I always laugh when I hear it. Trust me, I have coached women who were CEOs of huge companies or had professions, they were doctors, and that they chose to come home and raise their small children, and they were shocked to find that it actually took a lot to be a mom. 
And as we have now seen from earlier, we have been given the power to perform what we need to do by God, who's given us the authority and who has given us these children. All right, how about the answer and the truth to lie number four? That it's a low calling that can be mostly supplemented by nannies, monastery schools, or even the church. <laughs> nope and nope. As we have also found, the Bible, in the Bible and with the Bible, it is the most important thing to God is people and little people at that. It is a very high calling to be a mother. You know, when God decided to send his son Jesus to the earth, he did it by sending him to academia to learn about the important things in the world. No, he did not. Did he send him to the government? I mean, after all, he was going to rule and reign, right? Nope. He didn't send them there. And he did he send them to a village so everyone could raise them and he could kind of be like, you know, I don't know. No, he didn't send them to a village. When God sent his only son into the world, he sent them into the arms of a mother, into the arms of the mother, under the protection of a father. God sent his most precious and wildly wonderful life of his son into a family. If God was asking the question, so darling, what will you do with your one wild and precious life? What do you think would be one of the most important things that he'd have on that list? Yep, I think so. I think motherhood is on that list. And although not all women will become mothers, the fact that you are means it surely will be one of the most important missions he will ever send you on. So let's recap. We discovered that God's view of motherhood and the world's view and the culture's view of motherhood, well, they're a little different. Now let's contemplate the way you view motherhood, your motherhood. What do you think? Knowing that God has given you authority and equips you with power to do it right, the power to do it right, and sent you on a mission to raise the next generation that will reflect him to the world? Hmm. You know, your workbook is set up to help you think this through. And I hope you'll enjoy it. It's thought provoking. And this video has a lot of processing that some of you will want to discover about how you feel about motherhood and the lies. I want you to know that your workbook time, it may bring up lots of feelings and questions. I hope that you will prayerfully work through them. And I also put a link to a very powerful video that I did called What If? Oh, and a PDF of all the parts of you as a woman, well, uh, several parts of you as a woman that are other than mothering. It's called I Am. I hope you'll print it off and put it somewhere that you can see it for those long, hard mommy days that will remind you of who you are, of who you are as a woman and who you are on the mission that God has called you to. It's been really fun talking to you on this very first video. Go ahead and go do your homework and I will see you on video in the next video. Talk to you in a few minutes. Bye. Hi, I hope you liked this episode of the Moms Like Us show. And if you did, I hope that you'll share it. You'll share it with another mom friend because you know, moms like us do things like this. I also hope that you will check out the Moms Like Us Academy where we take ideas like we've been talking about on the show, but we go deeper. We just don't get inspired and think, ooh, that's a really good idea. I think I want to try that. We actually learn how to do these things and why we need to. And then you know what? You have Mona, the mom mentor, and other master moms that teach the master classes in there. They come alongside and we help you implement and really, truly change your mom life into the mom life you've always wanted to have because motherhood isn't a natural talent. It's a skill, sweetie, and you can learn it. So go and check out the Moms Like Us Academy today and find me when you get there and say hi.